Okay, our learning target for this segment is to divide decimals by single digits. And we're going to use a place value model, but also show how that relates to the standard algorithm. And an algorithm is uh, that process or set of rules that we follow when we're doing calculations. And it's the uh, traditional method of setting up a division problem, as probably many of us know it. So we're going to start with looking at the problem. Uh, 6 and 72 hundredths divided by 3. So we have it written uh, horizontally here, but also this is showing the standard algorithm. So we want to start by representing 6 and 72 hundredths on the place value chart. So we'll start with our largest um, place value, which is the ones. And we have six ones. We will represent them with six place value disks. Uh, and then we'll move over to the tenths column. We have seven tenths, and we'll represent that with seven place value disks. And two hundredths is represented with two place value disks. So we have six ones, seven tenths, and two hundredths in our original number of six and seventy-two hundredths. So let's begin by um, distributing our numbers into these three rows down here are three groups because we are dividing by three. So I've made three places to share our place value disks. So starting with the ones, we'll show that by crossing off the one place value disk in our original number representation and sharing it down here in one of these groups. So we'll do that with all of the six ones. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So our six ones are distributed. And uh, we'll take a look and see how many ones were we able to put into each group. And we see that there are two ones. And of course, that's what's represented on our algorithm over here. We place two ones um, in the ones column on our standard algorithm. And we look back and we see, all right, well, how many were we able to distribute? All six of them. So you can see that we have a six in our standard algorithm. We're going to look back and see how many are left when we subtract those six. And in this case, we have zero left. So we can move on to the tenths column. We'll do the exact same thing in the tenths column. We'll distribute each of these place value disks into the group. Um, and you can see in our algorithm, we have seven tenths to distribute. Once we distribute them, uh, we have two disks in each of our groups. We've been able to share two into each group and we represent that in the algorithm with a two in the tenths column. So we say, all right, well how many of these tenths were we able to distribute? And we see that we were able to distribute six of them. So when we subtract those six from our original seven tenths, we are left with one tenth left. Can we distribute one tenth? equally into those three uh, groups? Of course we can. So what we'll need to do is change that one-tenth into ten hundredths, which we will do by placing uh, ten place value disks in the hundredths column and eliminated, eliminating the one from the tenths column. We'll represent that in our standard algorithm and we'll see that we have twelve hundredths. So now we can distribute those 12 hundredths into our three groups. And we will do that in the same way that we did the ones and the tenths. And we're able to get four uh, hundredths into each group. And we'll represent that by four in the hundredths column. Again, we look and see how many hundredths were we able to distribute. Twelve of them with zero left. So our final results when we divide six and seventy-two hundredths into three groups will be 2 and 24 hundredths.